Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As a recording of this Thursday, March 3rd, 2022, I am in Lakeland, Florida at the Southgate Shopping Center, which has a very unique archway there. This was home to Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands, but this is not the focal point of this episode. Even though a couple scenes did take place here, I am going to be, for the first time in my entire life, I'm gonna be able to go inside the house that was used prominently in the film, the Tim Burton film. But I wanted to start off here because this is a, a pretty epic spot. And I cannot think of anyone else I would want to tag along than World of Micah wearing an appropriate t-shirt. Yes, last time I wore this shirt was the first time I got to go into the Boggs house. And I wanted you to be there with me so bad. You were out in Southern California yes. still. But we're doing it today. I am so excited. <laughs> Back in the day, we used to come out here to the Southgate Shopping Center. We'd drive over to the Edward Scissorhands neighborhood. We were like, dude, should we go up and just ask them if we can go inside? Now, I've been here once or twice since I did the first filming location I ever did back in October of 2010. Out of all the filming locations I've ever documented, this was the first one. It's not my best work, a little lackluster, but it... I think it was good. You liked it? I did. I thought it was good. Now, on the subject matter, when it comes to filming locations, you probably did the most expansive. You found a lot of spots I did not find. You did your yours a few years ago. Yep. Check out World of Micah's Edward Scissors. I think it's probably probably the best video you've ever done because Thanks, you were very passionate yeah. about Edward Scissorhands. Very passionate about that movie. It was a lot of work, and it took me a couple of weeks to get it done, and then I was the very first person to ever film inside the house. And now I'm going in. You're going in. I'm inviting you to join me and World of Micah as we go in the Edward Scissorhands house. Shall you? Nailed it. Got a few crows up here on the side of this, and you can really see why Burton used this, because it has that very unique retro architecture. Now, I'm not gonna really be showing any screen captures, not gonna be going into any kind of great deal on matching a lot of stuff up. This is just about the experience. A lot of that has been documented by a lot, not just myself and Micah, but many others have done that. But I will point out a, a few key spots like Winona Ryder and Anthony Michael Hall here embracing in a hug and Johnny Depp walking along here. These pillars have been bricked over. They used to just be poles. And then back over here is where the haircutting place was where the lady and Edward were. It has been walled up. It used to be glass back here where this yoga shop is on the side. A very iconic look here from this angle around the back side of the shopping center sign. And even though this is in Lakeland, we're gonna be traversing over to outside of Tampa, Florida, a little bit of a ways away to Lutz, L-U-T-Z is the town it's in and the residential neighborhood I have not been at in a long time. And just across the street is the neighborhood Carpenter's Run here in Lutz. The clubhouse was a makeshift kind of production facility and where they would have their lunch breaks and whatnot. So, you know, all the cast and crew would walk over here, get a meal at the clubhouse, and then go back over into the neighborhood. I should also point out that a lot of the paint on the houses look a lot different and a lot of trees have grown up. The neighborhood is almost unrecognizable than it was back in the 1990 film. Going over, right over there, across the street. Gonna start over here at Jim's house. Well, the character of Jim, played by Anthony Michael Hall. And walk down to the end of Tinsmith. Tinsmith Circle, to be exact. But yeah, you can see, well, I guess, you know, over here doesn't seem to be too many. So this kind of looks like it did, obviously, different paint and whatnot. But there weren't a lot of trees. Now, wasn't the topiary that was here, is that the one that was moved and it used to sit in front of Planet Hollywood for a little while? Yep. It was supposed to be Elvis. It was going to be Elvis, but it ended up being uh, like a girl with a dress, right? Yeah, but she had an Elvis swoop in her hair. Yeah, if only I had some Avon to sell, Micah. Could go right up to this house. <laughs> Avon calling. Now, the Scissorhands house, which we're going to refer to it, technically it was the Boggs house, but all the interiors were inside of here. There were a few other sound stages, but most, let's say most, not all, but most of the interiors were inside here on the corner of Tinsmith yep. and Tinsmith. Esmeralda's house right here. Yep. She's playing the organ. Yeah. And a little bit later, Mike is gonna take me over to where the castle was built. However, they kind of did like a, 
They superimpose like a matte painting style down at the end of this one. But here's the house, right here. I need to move my car. Just thought about it. You need to move your car? Joey, what's up, man? I'd like to introduce you to Joey. Joey is the property owner. Joey, how long have you owned the house for? Uh, Just about a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah. Did you buy it because you're a fan of the movie? No, it, we, the house across the street popped up and we have already been turned down three houses in a row, which is normal at that time. And then this house pops up and I was the dishwasher for the filming crew. So we put it in writing to the owners that we had two boys in the Navy and I was the dishwasher for the movie Edward Scissorhands with 15 offers. They turned us down. Okay. And then this house pops up the next day and, um, and my wife, she goes, oh my gosh, that Edward Scissorhands house just popped up. And I go, we just put a bid on it. She goes, no, 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 no. This is the actual house. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm, I, honestly, I'm shaking at this point. We put the bid in and uh, we try, I'm like, we were the first bid. Yeah. And then on Sunday, she comes, she comes up to me going, oh my gosh, our house is on TMZ. And I'm like, oh my God. You went viral. It went Without world, even knowing it. It went worldwide, so we had to compete with everybody on the planet. The the memorabilia people, yeah. uh, sharks, uh, investors, realtors, millionaires, billionaires, and flippers. Yeah. But the way the story ends is that you now own the Edward Scissorhands house. Yeah, and I flipped it better than most teens on you see on HGTV. <laughs> Look at, I mean, it looks like it was done professionally, but really that's OCD. <laughs> now, Joey was also just telling me that people will send stuff to put, so everything has been given with inside the house. So people from all over the world that love the movie will send things and he has put that in there as well. And he's kind enough to open up his home for me to go in and look around. Very thankful for this opportunity because the first time I came here back in 2010, I wanted to go up on the property, but it was private property. I wanted to go in the backyard and was not able to. And thankfully today, I'm gonna, that's gonna happen. And also over here, you know, this, this is seen very prominently in the side, you know, with them in front here, in the front porch and everything. But I'm actually allowed to walk on property today. So it's identical here. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It even has the bogs on it. Yeah, it's identical. Well, that is so side cool. Side by side, they're identical, the bogs. Very cool. Yeah, man, that's the... You know how many years I've wanted to like just stand right here? You got Edward down here? Yep. What were you saying, Micah? Right here in the scenes, he's trying to get the window open. They don't have a key. Anthony Michael Hall was. He looks over and she's like, do you have a key? Oh, that's Edward's right. Walk it up. No. And then he walks up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, what do you say? Didn't even leave a scratch? Or... Didn't even leave a scratch or nothing. Good yeah. job. You gotta do the... He did with the knock. All right. Here we go. Into... Once again. Oh, wow. Uh, There's a lot of Edward Scissorhand stuff in here. Right? You're standing right where Edward was when he first walked in. Wow, man. We got so much to cover and see. This looks completely different. Than Look at this. Edward atmosphere. was here. He was here, right here, yeah. walking in. Now, is this the window here? Right here. That's it. Okay. This is the window. So here's a famous picture of them right here, right? And then over here, you're going to freak. Right here, yeah. we got the actual negative. Wow, <laughs> you sure did. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> right there. That's just so cool. Oh, Isn't yeah. that crazy? That is cool. So that's the window where it's, that's the right hold here. me scene, yeah, right? Yes, right. We, have the, we have the floor. Yeah, we have the floor. So this is the, this is, well, the window's probably been replaced, but that's the window where he was standing there and she's like, hold me, yes. I can't. He's right here. Yeah. And there used to be slats on this window, as you can yeah. see in this. Yeah. But where their tree is, is exactly where it was. And then oh, this yeah. is cool. Light right here, and then he left the three. And these are, these right here, yeah. these are the original nails that hold those up. Oh, nice. That's, they'll never, they'll always stay there. So this is the same light switch. Yes, same, and we have the flooring over there, that okay. right here. So we have the flooring that they all walked on and right. in, the, in the movie, and you, you see it um, in the Kim and Jim prom picture that he falls in love with her. Okay. The picture he's looking at that he falls in love with is the prom picture, 
and that is the floor he stepped on. Where's the flooring at? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, there it is. And you'll see it in the prom picture. Oh, so this this linoleum here? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that is so cool. So when he walks in, you'll see it, and then when he walks over here and he starts to fall in love with Kim, you'll get nice angles on that floor. Yeah. That's like picture, yeah. Yeah. That's great. You have all the DVDs, the Blu-rays. Yeah, I like how you, VHS. I like how you have like the, the kind of the photos yeah, so you yeah. can kind of get the screen grabs and everything too. That is cool. So this is where they were sitting watching, they were yeah. watching TV right here on the floor. Yeah, right about here. Yeah. Right Winona, here. Anthony Michael Hall, and the boy from yeah, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids yes. was and, right down and here. And his family, Kevin's family was here watching the movie and some of his nieces and nephews never seen it. Really? They've seen it for the first time in the house. Wow. That's unreal. You know, I saw this over here at first glance. It looks like it says coffee. When he's holding the like the paper cutouts, it almost, if you look at it just real quick as I go like this, I thought it said coffee. Oh yeah. <laughs> you always know what's on my mind. Well, yeah, there it is. Oh, look at that. That's and, the one. And you get to hold it. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's so cool, man. So that's screen used. Yeah. This right here is the actual from the movie and we let you, we put it in here so you can pick it up and hold it. That's so cool. Isn't that crazy? I love that's it. That's amazing. Where'd you find that? This, donated. Someone wow. gave that to you. Yeah. That's awesome. I look like Johnny Depp, right? You do. A little bit. Look like Johnny Depp? I'd take you to and, show and tell. And. Yeah. One shot to a man's neck. <laughs> That is awesome. Isn't Thank that you. cool? Yeah. You, you want to hold it? I do. In the, this is the coolest place on earth. Yeah. This is all, you really do have a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, this is the signed by Burton. Do, do you understand, you know, want me to the, explain this? Yeah. This is pre-release. Pre-release. We have Johnny the, Depp's the first autograph the before he became the an actor. This is the, in his leading role, first leading role. Window. Right there, you can see yeah. you can see Burton. You can see who else? They're the whole, all on there. Everyone's on there. This is uh, the the heartbeat of Scissorland. This is what keeps Scissorland alive. Scissorland is what you call it. Yeah. All right, Scissorland. And this was also in the backyard where she, he's cutting her hair. Yes, and all those posts you see them are here. Oh, these are the same the, posts. Yes. All these posts were taped were pulled up by the patio. Where okay. all the haircuts were. So you've redone the fence, but you kept the posts. Yeah, they were hidden in the ground. And when I moved my fence over, yeah. they were. I, you, you can hit feel. I thought it was um, the the wires, right? But it was the fence posts. So they cut straight across the ground. Wow. Thirty years ago, and you can see the stain to make it. That's the stain from the the crew to make it look yeah. old. So you're tied to these cutouts the too. Of the dog that. over here, the topiary. And yeah, some great t-shirts here. I didn't have to dig this up. Wow. Imagine this the way. A tree, and then the of course surface. the kitchen over there with Edward kind of looming in the kitchen. You have any ambrosia salad on site? <laughs> I ate ambrosia salad in here the last time I was Did here. Did you? Oh, you've been in the house yeah, before. Yeah, Sue had ambrosia, wow. and I ate it right in that kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yep. Do you ever just lay, Joe? You ever just lay on the floor and pretend you're Anthony Michael Hall right here, just like lay down, uh, looking at the tree? I can't because then I can't get back up. <laughs> I'm gonna be script storyline oh. by Caroline Thompson. Yep, she wrote the the story there. Yep, that's one of the production hats. Got one right here. Look at that little someone's number. That's oh, she's man. the prop master. Sandy. Yeah. Oh, you got Weast. Alan Arkin to sign that yeah. too. Yeah, Weast. And he's on here too, both of them, on this one, on the uh, license plate. Wow. Yeah. See, I see one on a ride. You got a little miniature of Vincent Price over So this there. is the smoke alarm, this smoke alarm, all that stuff is in the exact same place as it would be, but it's really cool to match that up when you watch the film yeah. of them sitting right over here and they were watching Edward on the TV here. It was not a flat screen. HD, <laughs> can't HK. <laughs> no, it was it was a little box. Tim right? Burton. Yeah. So these weren't for the public. Right. This was given by Tim Burton to the residents of Tinsmith Circle, and you wore those to the premiere at the University of South Florida, Varsity Six, and then at the same premiere, you walked by these. Wow. So this right here would have been the first time you've seen Edward if you didn't see him on the commercial. Right. So if you were bringing a family member, which would have been normal, they would, this, would, this would have been the first time you've seen him ever because this was at the premiere. They didn't want people to see him. Right. They there was no photos. Right. I, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Because I was a dishwasher for the movie staff and yeah. I did not know the name of the movie. Wow. They kept that quiet. 
And then this was at the premiere. I remember seeing these. Oh, yeah, Edward was here. Now this, the lady across the street who has the Esmeralda house, she still has hers. Right. Right across the street. Yeah. She pulled it out for me last time I was here and, and showed me and everything. This was long before I knew you. Yeah, and she also gave us that license plate. Oh, did she yeah. really? That's so amazing, man. Yeah. Now the hallway, the hallway in the bathroom was a different house, right? It wasn't right. this house? Listen to this. This is crazy. This off this was Tim Burton's office. In that right. door? When you, when you were here, we yeah. didn't notice no. that. This was Tim Burton's office, yeah. right? In that door right there. Yeah. Okay. This middle bedroom was Johnny Depp's uh, cool off room. Remember the myth that he got hot and yeah. stuff? That that was his it's all true because that had a, a, a second air conditioner in it. Wow. So he can cool off yeah. on his own, all alone. Nobody else was allowed in there. And then this bathroom is all original to the date. And they all use this this bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. But the scenes of the hallway and the bathroom, that's a different spot, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as anything right past here was cut, cut. went to another set. Gotcha. And then the basement scene, which drives people crazy, was Esmeralda's garage. Was it really? Really? Across and, the road. And everybody was like, like, it couldn't have been, uh, we don't have Babel. Well, now that you know, it was Esmeralda's garage. Wow. They Interesting. Hey, all you do is put stairs there. You just blew up the internet, man. This <laughs> <laughs> is right here. Oh, so for, a dinosaur in there. we hit them about 10 inches down, and then for a week we're like, what are they used? Why are they there? Yeah. And then our neighbor, Greg, said he it was a tool to trim the dinosaur. All the topiaries that went on film had a tool kit under yeah. them. So Tim, if something was wrong, he, he knew that the scissors were down there, and he could just trim them up. That's so you just take like a metal detector and go dig around the backyard to find them? No, I dug them. I hit them with uh, a shovel. Oh, you were just wow. shovel? old school. <laughs> really? That is wild. All right, I gotta, I gotta see this kitchen. Yeah, I'll save the kitchen the for kitchen. last. This man. kitchen is the... stuff. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's identical. When you hear it, wait, wait, what's happening? What's happening? Come right over here. Right. You want to get this on camera? What are we witnessing? So we are in the kitchen. And you know, this is right here. And I really like that you put all these up. This yeah, is, yeah, this yeah. is a good call. Explain. And look, here it is. That's yep. where he's chopping it. Oh! As soon as the can opener comes on, it's gonna yeah. it triggers like it. his his mind and it takes you back and lets you see Vincent Price. Yeah. yeah. All right, ready? Listen yeah. to this. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That yeah. is the screen used can opener. Isn't Dude. that crazy? Dude, I about teared up there. That just sounds like it. That's insane. That's insane. Because wasn't the angle kind of like this? It was him looking at it from yeah, here. Yeah, from right here when he was when he cut what, right before or after he cut those. I'm not sure, yeah. but um, it, that's when it triggered the whole storyline about how he was created. That right there. That was it. Can I can I do it, Joey? Yes, absolutely. Can I do it? Also, Vincent Price's last film. Yes, Last it was. was yeah. on camera. His daughter was in the film too. And that can be really soon. All right, I have to do it. Too. I would be opening cans all day long. Yeah, dude. This a, just looking at it like ever was. This officially confirms we are nerds. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. We are. No, you're, you you died and gone to heaven. Yeah, man, this is <laughs> still pushing it. It's it's amazing. So, it really, it, and this is the story behind it. Look, see that? So who wrote this? David Parker. David wrote Parker, this? yeah, and it's staying right there, so you can read it. This, that's kind of like a certificate of authenticity, it's, yeah. almost. It's a time capsule we it's found in the ocean. Here. Is this the same sink and everything? Uh, we don't know. Don't Not, know about the it sink. It was a stainless steel sink. It's but the cat. But these are the same cabinets, oh, right? Oh yes. And under here, there is right there two holes. From Those the staff. Yep. That right there was two holes. That was where they had a. Um, they the put that towel. in there. Yeah. I have a picture of that right here. See the paper towel holder? Yeah. Oh okay. The staff put that there. Right there. Those are the holes. And I didn't put towel. one there because, so you can see the holes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to put one there, but then I don't want to hide the hole. Now this this is a little this isn't the original cutting board. No, no. Uh, but right here you can see some cuts and it just blows my mind because it could have been. Yeah. You never know. Because he was chopping the lettuce on the bigger cutting board here. Yep. But then you could tell when you watch it that the cutting board doesn't go all the way to the edge. Yeah. It's more like something like this. Something like that size. Yeah. yeah. And then over here in this corner, 
you'll see when he nicks himself and he gets right here, you'll see Johnny Depp's cigarettes held up by the two apples leaning up against what? this canister set. Yeah, that's wow. why you have the cigarettes there. Yeah, and you'll see him in the picture. Really? Yeah. Over. Watch right. Right there. Yeah, see? Cigarettes. Like, see wow, yeah. Now, is that the same phone? Yes, this whole no way. Is created. Oh Dude. yes. Now that's the screen. The only phone? difference is he had the uh, the bean ashtray right here. We have to. F we know it's a bean ashtray, so we have to find it. So when you bought the house, this phone was no, 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 on no. The no wall? We put that there. So this is a reproduction. No, that's original. That's it's the not, original. It's just it wasn't in. It was a gotcha. replica. There you go. Okay, this oh, is a replica. It's, a replica. Gotcha. Yes. it's the same model. Yeah. Gotcha. Exactly. And this. Is that's very, identical too. Yeah. We know that's identical to the movie. And this is the door he walks in. So there really was a garage next door. Yep. Oh yeah. She could see the garage right Look over there. The mushroom wallpaper. Watch. We'll try to get that little picture right there. That's it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you, you see, you've watched it enough to even know how far the door was <laughs> yeah. open, angled open. Get the mushrooms. I'm noticing the wallpaper in here. The, this this wallpaper is a reproduction, but you have some it's of the artwork. It's, it's artwork. digital artwork, yeah. So you did we that yourself? for the house. No, re it was created in London for the house. Wow. We could not find it for five months. It didn't exist. And then a, a guy from London uh, said he can create it for us, and boom. Now, this is real movie wallpaper? Yes, that's, that was on screen. So re I can see the difference. This is recreation. It's the printer, really. Yeah, it's really this, just the printer. This has like some like texture to the, uh, the, the paper actual and paper. And the printer yeah. was a little you know, old school. So. Sure. So this is really all that's left of the original wallpaper. There's one more piece. One more piece? She threw all of it in the garbage, you know, but not, you know, not knowing. No. Nah. Just like the orca. They dismantled it and burned it. Yep. <laughs> Twenty million dollar ship. Where'd you get this? Where'd you get oh, this? Oh, I made man? him. You made him? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And here he is. Pre-release 3D pop-up that, like, let's say you were at the theater and you went to get popcorn. Yeah. This would have been on the counter before the release. So cool. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And look, there's Scissor Land right there. There it is. Oh, there's your house right yeah. there. Behind the scenes photos, you can look see that. Tim. That's and in the house. Johnny and that's right in here. the house too. Now this is not the same fridge. Yeah. However, Joey was saying when he got the house, the fridge, the old fridge that was screen used, was out in the garage. But before he moved in, they had gotten rid of the fridge. But the fridge was out in the garage as well, the one that could be seen here as well. But still pretty cool that there is some screen new stuff still in the house, including that, which is about the coolest thing. All they did. Those like behind the scenes photos? Yeah. You never see these. This is out on the, the hill. These are never the... never seen these. So your your viewers are gonna see these for the first time. Yeah, and in Kathy Lockwood's book, she talked about how there were stairs in the facades. They could shoot some scenes of them looking like they were actually in the castle. And that's cool to see that. Is there anything of your house in there, Joy? No, all uh, by the hu the husband okay. of Tandy, who was the prop master for the movie. Wow. And someone just that. sent you these as well? The prop master. Wow. And this right here, here yeah. is the Kevin, is when they did the first yeah. day of filming. You could even see. Yeah. Take a look yeah. right up oh, here. Rose, you could even see Jesus where it the, says the "Carpenters Kevin Run." Kevin Tim, right there. You see anything like a hall in there? Yeah, he's oh, right, right there. there yeah. The forehead. I don't see Rose Rosen. She's she's. Oh, a there's the sun right there. Yeah, the Kevin, the shoulders, right Kevin. there. I just think of honey, I honey, I shrunk. Oh yeah, Kevin, it's one of your cookies. His name was Kevin in that film. So too. where is this? Is this right in front of the right house? Right here, yeah. yeah. Right, right outside. You guys are just walking. Yeah, that's the corner. Oh, this is where we walked up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right there's the well, cult, not the cult. So the house would have been right there to my to my hand. We're looking at the street. And this is down in front of Jim's house. That's kinda. near Jim's house where the lady was, the lady topiary. See, this is where we walked down. And that was oh, the corner yeah. in front of the house. The neighborhood looks so different now, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, so basically, oh, this is in the backyard of Alan in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. Cool. see the air conditioning unit right there. And we're going to go in the backyard in a moment, right. but here's like an angle of wow. what it looked like from that, from the crane when they had the oh, yeah. crane kind of going yeah. down. Yeah, we're and of course, the topiaries that Edward was making, making in the backyard of the family and the dinosaur. Here's another behind the scenes photo inside the home with all the lights set up and everything. And here's another little closer up of things that Joey found in the backyard. All right, going into another more of an area that I always wanted two years ago to walk back into. And now we're walking out into the backyard. 
They're this on is the where, other side of the fence. This is where he was like snipping the flowers. Right there right in the there. corner. And Winona was like right here, yeah. kind of looking out the door. Yep. Yeah. At this very door. So this is the light fixture oh, right man. here, as you see. The fence has been redone. Is that Frankenstein over there? Yep. Got Frankie over there. I've got him. I put him here oh. because Edward was a Frankenstein. Yeah. Okay. So, I, so they're brothers. Yeah. That makes sense. You got the sign for cookies. You got the sign for Esmeralda. Esmeralda across the street. Who, Esmeralda's Look, house is over and there. Helens. And then over there is Joyce. Take take your viewers in there. Yeah, That's pretty neat. You have like cool. kind of showing the layout of the land, a little yeah. guide map to the neighborhood. And you'll run into Joyce's right there. And then Joyce's do. Joyce is across the street with the shrubs right there. That's her house? Yep, that's the lady that kept hitting on him with the red hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cool? yeah. That's neat, so it kind of arrows to show where everything was. That's cool. And then over here was the dinosaur, the big dinosaur yeah, topiary. Where the, the blue bird feeder was. You almost got a spot ready for one. Oh, yeah. it's at Disney. It's, it's there. So I was just talking about that. I heard it used to be in front of Planet Hollywood, but now it's gone. No one knows where it is. Really? But that topiary, was it that topiary or was it the one that was down the road of the lady uh, that was kind of like doing the dance with the Elvis hair? I can't remember if it, that was the one or if it was this one that was at Disney, know. the dinosaur. All I heard is that they're all stored in Disney. Probably in the storage. Yeah. And then the right tree, here. the tree house was over here. Yeah, in that corner. And there's a tree there. There's no tree house, yeah. but there's a tree there. And then the family topiary over there right in the there corner. Where the table is. Okay, here we go. So this is the topiary that was over in that corner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Edward gave the haircut right here. You could see these houses in the background. This is where they were set up. Yeah. And he gave Joyce the haircuts, which was the single most thrilling. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, that was the that was the most thrilling experience of my whole life. And then the water hose. Oh, it's the same spigot over there for the water hose. Yep. Yes. He's gonna don't want to rust up the the scissors. Right there. Yep. Same one. The same window? Yo, it, yeah. It's been changed. And it had the slats on it. Yeah. But it's that's it. That's where it was. Yep. And if you want, I can take a picture of you guys here. Getting some good photos out here. Mike is getting one, Joey's. Go. Getting a good angle there. I'll show you the one he took for me. Yeah, take a look at that. See the topiaries in there and everything in the house. It's kind of where Alan Arkin was like sitting in his chair, relaxing. The barbecue was back here in this here backyard. The family the topiary. Took right along here. Kind of stretching along this they did, fence. They did such a good job. And this is where the water hose was, same nozzle. Threw it away, man. Oh. Well, the same the same water outlet area. So the original nozzle that was on there you don't have anymore? No. All the pipes and... Yeah, Micah was just saying how all these along the wall are the same. Air conditioner's been replaced, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> that's where the old one was though, it was yeah. in the same spot. Yeah, they yeah. moved it. That staff put that there. The staff did, not the builders. Put the old unit in there? Or the They're, new okay. year. When they painted the house, they Tim Burton must have said, get rid of that dang air conditioner. So they put it over here, and it's been here. But it was moved by the staff. Okay. And there's a lizard right up here. Oh, yeah, you can take him with you. So the you, can name this, you can name this lizard Edward. Right there. These are all kind of, these are all seen in all the frames from the movie. Yeah, but I just love this. So where's the exact spot when he was making the eye sculpture? Where was the right eye here, sculpture? Right so it was right here. Right here. He, this she is the, turned that corner right there. and She, she turns that corner right out of the door. Here's something for your, your viewers. Okay. You, I, we yeah. just found out way after you were here. So the eye sculpture was right here. And it, they were filming in the midsummer. And it fell over three times. Wow. And when you look at it now, notice how big it really was. It must have been hard on Tim Burton. Sure. Absolutely. Because the tall. ground was wet in June. Yeah, they it, said it was raining a lot. Yeah, out. so right there. They had they, a lot of the scenes, the fence was removed and everything when they were doing a lot of the filming. A lot of the behind the scenes stuff you can see they had access to. That's probably well, there was, the there was there. You, there was a, you could walk in and out of here. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think this was uh, a. So there was an open point. area. Right there. But Alan was on the roof hanging the Christmas lights. Yeah. And. Edward went right out here. Yeah. Right out there. That's where he goes and stabs the, the car right next to Joyce's house. Oh, over there, yeah. Goes down, yeah. And this is where the, the tree was. Using Micah's phone here. Take a look at that angle there. That is awesome. 
That is so dang cool. So this is the original blue? <laughs> yeah. You matched it pretty close, man. Yeah, and we were thinking about having people like you come and just sand down some purple, <gasps> sand down the gray, yeah. and then the white, yeah. and then you initial the blue. Dude. And take a picture. All uh, right, yeah, absolutely. Isn't that cool? I don't, that don't bother so me. So that's the original Sanding blue, and then he paint. repainted that's the new blue. Paint. <laughs> I just wanna touch it. Yeah, that's the original blue right wow. there. From the movie Edward Scissorhands. I just want, he just likes to hold it. It's <laughs> diff different movie, but. And that can be seen right above her head. And she's, the angle is probably about here because Winona is really short. So they had to match her and to make Edward look a lot taller on the ladder. And then it goes right there. So, so this cool. this piece is like in scene in the screen too? Yep, right above her head. That's the only light that's out here besides the big spotlight they had on him. Now, if someone wanted to show up and, you know, kind of, Go to Scissorland. What do they need to do to, to get a hold of you, you or have get go, permission? You have to go to our, our TikTok or Instagram. It's our Scissorland. Okay. And then send me a, a, a direct message, and then we just simply invite you. Okay. Just like a normal in normal life. So either one of those two is how people can get a hold of you. Yeah, the, the best way would be Instagram because it's more organized, and I don't have all that spam in right. that TikTok does. Okay. Um, and then that's the only way. All right. It's so much easier than you just driving here and, and doing this. And so you encourage people not to show up without getting a hold of you first. Right, because we live in the HOA and right. our, some of our neighbors, even though the neighbors are kind of used to that, we, we wiped that out. We got control over it. So just very simple. Hit you up on Instagram, set a date, and then come by there. Don't don't show up at your door. Yeah, it's really, it's just like normal life. Okay. I'm getting a few more angles here. Looking into the living room. TV was smaller old school TV was over there that they were watching and another peek into the kitchen with the wallpaper real movie wallpaper there on the door and then the recreation there on the side kind of looking at original cabinets yeah awesome very cool there's someone behind me isn't there Edward that I can take all this and put it in a real museum. Sure. And you go and visit the museum, right? Yeah. And then you come here to the actual movie house. Right. Yeah. As is. Sure. That's the ultimate. I mean, we've only been here a year and a, less than a year and a half. Yeah. It's and insane how much has changed. That's what I'm saying. You got to think right. three to five years from now, we're going to have our awesome. own museum. I'll always re remember eating pasta with you here. You made pasta. <laughs> And um, I had ambrosia salad with soup. So I've had two meals in this I house. See, uh, <laughs> see how much it changes in the next couple of We just need, years we and need like, a it just like, sounds like the film. It's, it's insane. Like, <laughs> We're still talking about the can opener. Yep. <laughs> see, they had two puppeteers on this day. That was for the scissors. They had like several sets. And one were like that one has more pages if he wants to take it off the wall. I was gonna I need to like photocopy it. Man, yeah, he had these scissors like for the outside scene that he would put on and there were guys underneath and they would program it and he just kinda held it out and they would just move lightning fast. And so Tandy, the prop master, she was on on the ground laying there. Was she? she was the one throwing the hair up. That's so cool. In the air and the leaves. That's so cool. And so and then the scene when he's trying to open the front door. Yeah. She's behind the door. She opens the door so he so they can walk in. Wow. And oh, then so right the out castle scene, because that door she said was heavy. You know why? She stood behind the door and then they didn't went. Want, they didn't want Winona uh, having some kind of awkward movement on film. That's why Tandy helped her open the door. Sure. So yeah. she took all the responsibility so Winona looked like she was coming in. So cool, man. Yep, they just let her know and said, now. And There's so just... many stories we know, like, uh, the last house on the corner had a, a cat, and Tim, it was a nemesis to Tim Burton. So Tim Burton would actually halt uh, filming, knock on the door, and make sure the cat was in the house. <laughs> and, uh, because they, they always had to cut the cat out of the film. Wow. And then the other... And he looked like, he was Morris, and he looked like Morris the cat. Now we have the complete story. The lady down here whose dad's car was the one that, um... He, he stabbed the tire in. She still lives there. If you can mention, uh, if you have 
uh, do you know artists that you know would like to donate yeah. artwork, or if you have memorabilia of the? What you want here saying that? So if, if anyone has anything scissor hands related and wants to send well, it to the museum, we will accept anything Edward Scissorhands themed artwork, two D or three D, or if you would like to donate to the house, just visit our Scissorland and what we. I mean, if everything in here is donated, so if you have a um, piece of Edward Scissorhands history and you want to okay. share it with everybody, just send it here. Cool. And they'll find you on Instagram at our, our Scissorland. Our Scissorland. O U R Scissorland. Yep. Thank you. Absolutely. No, tell thank Joey. you. Dude, thank you, dude. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> if you guys come this out, tell Joey we sent you. So what are you doing right now, Joey? I'm giving you guys a, a souvenir. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is going to a good home, let me tell you. Yeah, let me get <laughs> Wait, you gotta get what? What are you gonna get? Uh, <laughs> Have you ever heard of scissors? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scissors. Joey scissor hands. You can, you can use these, Joey. Yeah, those are good. Scissors. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta document this. Yep. Yeah, because using the scissors. I'm cutting mushroom wallpaper in here. No way. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There's one piece for you. Wow. Everybody goes home with a party gift today. <laughs> as weird as this looks, no, I, I had to battle the entire planet to hand you this. <laughs> yes, you did. Wallpaper. Yep. With mushrooms on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it on screen. Look at this. Thank you. And this Thank is you. for you. Take it home. Enjoy it. Thank you so much, man. I had to go through millionaires and billionaires to hand you this. Yeah. <laughs> billionaires. Well, thank you. I will treasure it. Isn't that oh, cool? That is cool. Thank you so much, man. And Micah was just noticing that this is like kind of the same old-timey lock here, this Raynor doors. Probably the same garage door. And once again, an extra special thanks to Joey from Scissorland, the Edward Scissorhands house. Place I always wanted to go in, and now I did. And right here on the mailbox, there's Edward. Hey, Edward! Right there. I'm having kind of flashbacks of me when I was here 11, 12 years, I guess 12 years ago now. Yeah. <laughs> October of 2010, when I was in this very neighborhood. Also, side note. There were no trees. They tore out all the trees and they repainted all the houses. And then when production ended, the production company went back in and planted all these trees. So this tree was pretty much 1990. The movie was probably filmed in 89. Yeah. The movie came out in 90. And that was where the, the pony topiary was, where that tree is. So right. they had a topiary there. But immediately after production, they planted this tree. Planted the tree. And the mystery continues. Where is the topiary that used to be in front of Planet Hollywood at Disney Springs? I want to know. I got to use my Columbo like research skills and try to figure that out. But this is awesome. The house from Edward Scissorhands, named by Tim Burton as Scissorland. Now, our Scissorland. Yep. Thanks to Joey for purchasing the place and being kind enough and inviting us in. Here on the corner of Tin Smith and Tin Smith. A museum of sorts in suburbia, just outside Tampa, Florida. And now I think we're going to go by where the castle was and in there. Well, we're going to walk around the neighborhood first, right? Yeah. We're going to walk around the neighborhood first and then go to the castle. How freaking cool is this? For real. Scissorland. Our Scissorland. And I'm walking away with a piece of wallpaper. No ambrosia salad. Maybe I'll make some later this evening. Mmm. They're all feeding Edward in the backyard. Mmm. Mmm. I thought he was a shish kebab. <laughs> I really wanted to go on the roof, but I can understand why he said, probably not the best idea. Yeah. Because I would probably slip and have a Christmas vacation moment up there. <laughs> pull a, I mentioned Back to Future and Christmas Vacation, even though we're talking about Edward Scissorhands. Oh, Micah was just reminding me, because it's been a while since I did my location video, but this is where Edward was, you know, jumped on Kevin and asked him if he was all right. And that's right across from the bogs. 
point out a couple other things while we're over here. Yeah. Right here, right here, this was the opening scene. And it was quiet, you could hear the birds just like now. It looks so different. It does. Oh my gosh, it looks so different. Was Wasn't it like a crane angle that was like kind of up high? No, it was literally low. Like you could literally like see everything was just this winding road. But the thing, the funny thing about this is Peg Boggs, Diane Weiss, she drove around this circle like five times because she passes these houses with Edward going in the opposite direction from the house. And they did all kinds of... Also look at the backyard of the Boggs. Here's where Anthony Michael Hall and Edward and Winona were standing. There was topiaries there. And the sewer grate still the same. Oh, little squirrels. Little squirrels. Chasing each other around. Mike, you remember which driveway they were sitting in, Edward was sitting in? Yeah, it's right down here. Right here. It's where Edward and the dog was sitting. But that, the houses look completely different. It does. But where the rising sun is on that, that's where they had a Santa Claus head. And they and boarded they, up one of those they windows. They boarded up one of the windows. It and looks they a had lot different. Lights coming down. Now with the Scissorland house right there, the blue one that we just passed, this was the fake entrance into the castle at the top of the hill. And they built some set dressing over here. But we're gonna drive over. Mike is gonna take me to where the hill was. He was able to figure out where the hill was and we're gonna go over there. I wanted to show this as well. She drove right that direction. Not where that bike path is, but that direction, because you could see that little sewage grate off to the side of the entryway going into there. So more or less right here was the driveway. The grate there going right up and then cut to another place to the hill. All right, made about the 25, 30 minute commute to Dade City, corner of Platte Road and Blanton Road. The hill where the castle was down this road. Micah found this a few years ago after going on Street View for many days and weeks, discovered. And you saw an old news footage. Yep. And that was how you discovered it because the newscast was out here. Yeah, standing right here. And you matched up the newscaster. Yep. This is why we're friends, because I do the <laughs> same kind of thing, trying to discover little clues. Yeah. So the newscaster was standing against here? Yeah, and right here at this Winter Haven sign, there was a, a sign that said Edwards. A sign, okay, a sign that said Edwards on the newscast. And that little pole right there hanging down, you can see that in the, the shot too. So it wasn't in the movie, this is a behind the scenes, a newscast talking about the filming. Yep. And the castle was up here now where they have started to build over here on the left-hand side. There's a bunch of power grids. Yeah, take a look at that. The same poles with the newscaster. That's pretty cool. Good detective work. Kind of zooming through the window here, noticing that tree line. And from that news footage, you'll see the castle kind of peeking up. Can't go on this property there because there's a fence up, but I think if you went a little farther up, you get the correct angle. But my guess is probably it was right over there by that tree line. And here's a little behind the scenes of the castle peeking over those trees. Sister Hans Castle. And that's going to do it for today from the middle of nowhere in Dade City. But we went to Lutz, we went to Lakeland, and we went inside Scissorland. We did. Yes. Did it. Bucket list. You had been in there before. I'd never been in there before. But you... I wanted to go in there with you. That was the whole thing. Because we used to talk about this all the time. All the time. It has been discussed many times. <laughs> but it happened. Yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Check out World of Micah. The vlog is over. Oh yeah, I forgot to show these two photos here as well. So there's one and there's the other. Standing in front of the Edward Scissorhands house. Just wanted to show those two, I have those on my phone. Such a cool day.